Becky, let's bring in Mark Royce. He is the president of General Motors and somebody who has been working closely with the team at GM that uh, developed and built the uh, Hummer EV SUT, I guess, sport utility pickup truck, whatever you want to call it exactly. Uh, Mark, why a truck as opposed to a, a, an SUV EV? Well, good morning, Phil, and, and uh, I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, the, the truck piece of this, you know, we, we, we have done a lot of um, talking to, to customers um, around the truck segment. And, you know, uh, when we're debuting our Ultium, our new Ultium battery chemistries and packs in um, our platform called the Battery Electric Truck that will be built here in Detroit, uh, this seems like, you know, a no excuses, super truck opportunity for us. So, you know, with four wheel steering, with, um, you know, zero to 60 in about three seconds and uh, thousand horsepower, uh, this is a no excuse uh, way to bring back um, the Hummer nameplate under GMC uh, for our customers. So it, uh, it makes a ton of sense. And, uh, you know, we're going to be first. And that, that's important. The first price point, if you will, for the first editions, $112,000. Some people will look at that. And even in the later years, when you get into 2022, 23, 24, it's still going to be over $80,000 uh, for those versions uh, of the Hummer. Uh, did you do that in part to make sure that, A, you turn a profit on this vehicle, and B, uh, of the belief that, look, there is a segment up there of buyers who want that all-electric uh, EV, SUV, sport utility truck, whatever you want to call it? Well, it, you know, uh, actually, the, the, the price um, that, that we, we saw for the first edition, which is a special edition, is, in fact, um, $112,600, and we took reservations for the first time last night. But yes, as the truck rolls out, uh, we will have um, the entry point at uh, under $80,000 for the two motor version. And so, you know, the content and uh, and all the features just just walk up and, you know, you get a ton. Uh, in fact, a truck that no one's ever seen before for those price points. So, you know, it was very uh, carefully uh, researched and, um, and developed and engineered. And, uh, you know, the production of it uh, will be in our, our factory zero here in Detroit, which is our first really, truly dedicated um, all-electric um, factory, along with our Orient and our just announced uh, Spring Hill, Tennessee plant um, for the Cadillac Lyric. So this is just the beginning. And, uh, you know, those price points in that uh, content level and capability level for the Hummer truck is, uh, it just hasn't seen, been seen before. So we're extremely proud of that. The creativity of our engineers and our designers and our manufacturing engineers and our our folks that have worked so hard on the LTM propulsion system um, that, that is actually vertically integrated inside of GM. So it's our chemistries, it's our, our electric right. motors, it's our packs, it's, it's all of that. So uh, this is just the beginning. So, um, you know, what a way to start, right? Will you turn a profit, though, right off the bat on the, uh, the Hummer EV? Yeah, we know I, I've gone publicly and said this from um, our EV day uh, since day one. Our electric vehicles will be profitable. End of story. Mark, let's talk a little bit about what's happened with Nikola. Um, I know you guys have not finalized the deal there. Uh, where do things stand in terms of the discussions between GM and Nikola? Sure. Um, I think you, you hit the nail on the head, Phil. Um, they're, they're not finalized yet, but, you know, we're, we're totally excited about the opportunity. You know, we've been developing fuel cells here uh, for commercial use um, for a while. We've got a, j a joint venture with Honda. Uh, made in Michigan um, on our fuel cells. We, we think we have a technological lead on it. Nikola agrees. So the opportunity to put um, our fuel cells into a class seven and eight vehicle is um, is spectacular. So we, we know um, there's great operational cost advantages. There are great efficiencies and there's great opportunities. So um, we continue to to work the, the, the opportunity with Nikola and that's, that's where we are. But as you watch this unfold, should General Motors have done better due diligence regarding some of the claims that former chairman of Nikola, Trevor Milton, was making that uh, more than a few people have now looked at, including Hindenburg Research, and said, wait a second, these claims were not accurate. This was, you know, didn't GM know this before they decided to get in bed with these guys? Look, um, you know, the due diligence was not only done by General Motors, it was done by um, the entire uh, banking community and Wall Street community as uh, the company went public. Um, there's a ton of time spent um, on all fronts. So that's all I can really say about it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.